There's not a lot worse in your creator life than finishing a recording, having a listen and hearing that you've left a fan on in the background. There was some kind of rumble you didn't notice. That noise can ruin a recording. But there are tools to get rid of it. So Audacity is one tool that you can use to get rid of that noise. So let's take a look at how the Audacity noise reduction tools work to save your bacon when a recording's gone wrong. So here's a recording here. I've got this two people speaking and a bit of a fan in the background. So let's listen to what it sounds like just now. Audience, how do you get it out to more people? Promoting a podcast, especially for a niche audience, can be really... So you can hear that fan that's on in the background ruining that recording. So let's look at the noise reduction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that file. So that selects the whole thing. Control A does the same. Go to effect and you've got noise removal and repair right here. I'll take you through these to see how they work. But the core one you'll use is noise reduction. So let's start with that. So get noise profile is the first step. So actually I'm going to come out here, unselect that. Zoom in a little bit and find one part that is just silence. So here we go. Here's a part that's just, well, it should be silence if it wasn't for the noise. I'm going to select that. Back to effect noise reduction. Uh, noise reduction there and get noise profile. And that's Audacity now learned what the noise in the background sounds like, which isn't your voice. So then I can select the whole file. I'll zoom out again. Go back to effect, noise removal, noise reduction and then we can try the noise reduction tools. So we've got a few settings here. We've got noise reduction, which is the level of noise reduction. So that's how much it'll take off that noise. Sensitivity as well. I'm going to stick with just the defaults just now, but if you do want to try and remove more noise, you can turn that up. Or if you want to make it more light, just remove a little bit, then you can turn it down. The balance is the more noise you remove, the higher you make it, the more it starts to affect your voice and the more you get that standard noise reduction sounding underwater feel. <laughs> so 14 can be a good level. Let's go for OK on that, see how that sounds. So you can see that this does look better. So let's see what it sounds like in the middle though. How do you get it out to more people? Promoting a podcast, especially for... Do you know what? That's actually a really good first pass. That's taken out a lot of that fan sound. I'm still hearing a little bit of it. It's not affecting the voice too much. Niche audience, how do you get it out to more people? Niche audience, how do you get it out? So it's definitely taken out a little bit of the depth, a little bit of it, but not too much. So I'm going to put that back in. I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit because it's taken out so much and affected the voice a little bit. If I do noise reduction and just turn it down to maybe 10, so about two thirds of the same level, click OK and listen there. Get it out to more people. Promoting a podcast, especially... For so that's barely affected the voice, but it's taken out a lot of the noise. So that's really good. So that's a great first pass, actually. But what we can do as well... So if we go back in, noise removal and repair, the other one I use quite a lot is the click removal. So this is less related to that fan type noise and it's more about those clicks that creep into your speech when you've maybe got a bit of a dry mouth or something similar. So you can use that. Threshold is lower is more sensitive. So takes out less if you turn it down below 200. As usual, the default is pretty good. So I'm going to leave it on that 200 default. Click apply and that'll take out a lot of the clicks. I saw that change in a little bit. So there must've been a few little clicks in there for this recording. Worth noting that while Audacity is great for the price, which is free, there are more modern, fully featured, helpful tools out there that make podcasting and audio editing much easier. For example, in Alitu here, you can record by yourself or with a group. It cleans up any audio you upload or record automatically, including noise reduction, leveling, normalization, all that stuff. You can edit super easily, just like this, and you can edit at double speed as well if you choose. And it includes text-based editing, so you can edit just as if you're using a Word document. Music fades are taken care of with just a click of a button, and you can add files to your timeline with just a click as well. And then finally, publish with all your detail in here with the inbuilt hosting, and you can use AI to generate titles and descriptions if you want to. If you want to check it out, go over to alitu.com. That's A-L-I-T-U dot com. And you can get a seven day trial to give it a shot. Now, the final one I use a lot is the 
noise gate. So go into, we'll select the whole thing, go into noise removal and repair, go to noise gate. And the gate is really, well, it's like it sounds, it's a gate that only lets through sounds that are above a certain level. So what that means is it'll cut out anything that's a quiet sound in the background, as long as it's below that certain level. Here we have a gate threshold, minus 40. So anything that is quieter than minus 40 won't be let through at all. So let's hit apply on that one and then listen through and wonder if that gets rid of that final bit of noise in the background here to more people. Promoting a podcast, especially for a niche audience, can be really effective. Out to more people. Promoting a podcast, especially... So that's actually sounding a little bit funny. This is the thing that the gate can do sometimes is that it's cutting it out in the silent part here. Promoting a podcast. Promoting a But only at the start, so it can kind of vary... If I zoom in, I wonder if I can see that effect. Yeah, you can see it kind of fade out there. So the gate actually needs a bit of an adjustment there. So if I go back, if I undo that, I'm going to zoom in. You can see that there's still this little, I'm going to zoom in on that part just to show you. So you can see there's a little bit of noise in here. You can see those kind of wiggly squigglies that you don't want to see. So if I select the whole thing again, go back to noise gate. Let's see if we can get it so that it's uh, it picks up the whole thing. So this is about the attack, the hold, the decay. So let me play around with the settings here and we can see what we can get. The settings we have here, obviously we've got threshold, which sets when the gate kicks in. So you make that higher and it cuts out more noise. Level reduction is how much it reduces that volume. So that's how aggressive it is. The attack, the hold and the decay are the ones we need to worry about here because they are how you set, how quickly that gate opens, how quickly it closes, how much it holds on after the volume changes. So that's when you get that kind of chattering sound like we got there. So what I'm going to do is with the attack time, that's how quickly it opens when the sound goes above the threshold. The release is how quickly the gate closes when it sounds below the threshold. And the hold time is how long it stays open after the sound drops below the threshold. So I think it's the hold probably that's having the biggest effect on us here because it was holding on too long after it went silent. So I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to bring the attack down a fair bit actually so that we get an easier effect. Let's put that down to about 10. I'm going to put the hold to, let's say 20 and decay. I'm going to bring that down to 50 as well. Let's apply that and see how that sounds. So play from here to more people. Promoting a That's better. It's made it a little bit better. Let's try that once more. So taking it right down to really low numbers here, seeing what we can do. Two, five and 10, applying that. And it is cutting out more there. I can hear it. Get it out to more people. Promoting a podcast. See it even. It's cutting it down. I'm still getting a little bit of that noise in the background. So uh, the gate is probably not a great effect here. So I'm going to go back right to the noise here. And I'm actually just going to ramp up the noise reduction. So what do we want to do here? We're going to reduce it a little bit more. So I'm going to go up to, let's say, 18. I'm going to increase the sensitivity to 14. Let's see if we can get rid of that last little bit. So you can see that's affected the voice quite a bit there as well, though. So let's see how that sounds. Get it out to more people. Two underwater. Listen to yes. that. How do you get it out to more people? Promoting a podcast, especially. So that's too much. Just too much. Effect noise reduction. So I'm going to go in between. I'm going to go back down to 14, back down to about 12. Let's see how we go with that. We can see it's affected the voice a little bit again. Get it out to more people. Promoting a podcast, especially. How do you get it out to more people? And that sounds about Promoting. right to me. That sounds like a good balance to me. So you can see that that has gone right down to a flat line. So the noise has basically disappeared and it's not affecting the voice too much. So that is noise reduction. Now remember, Audacity is good for this. Audacity is a free tool. It's excellent for the price. There are lots of tools out there now that do this for you automatically. You don't have to worry about your noise reduction. Does your leveling, your compression your EQ, all of those things as well. One of which is Alitu. So Alitu is our podcast maker app. If you do record in Alitu or upload your recordings there, it'll do the full noise cleanup for you, as well as making you sound really polished. So do check that out if you think you want to use a paid tool that'll save you a lot of time and make the whole thing a whole lot easier. It's over at alitu.com. That's A-L-I-T-U.com.
But otherwise, I hope this has helped you do that same thing in Audacity. If you want to spend the time to do that, it is a good tool for the job free as well, like we always say. So it's a great value for the price. So go out there, have a go in Audacity, see if you can get rid of your noise. And I hope that helps. If you want more of these videos, podcasting tips, Audacity tips, creator tips in general, how to run your creator business, do hit that subscribe button below and you'll get all my videos in future. Thanks again for watching. I'll speak to you soon.